Let's continue our special coverage on Myanmar. Now, that country's rural population makes up more than two-thirds of the total, much higher than the world average. Many are farmers who have suffered from the years of sanctions. But amid growing foreign investment, the government now plans to put more tools into farmers' hands to improve the country's economic future. Rowi Ruttenberg reports. This used to be called the rice bowl of Asia, a richness in the soil that brought a richness to its people. But now the majority of farmers in Myanmar, many of them living in remote rural areas, are poor. People like 27-year-old Katu, who's been working his family's land since he was a teen. Our main difficulty is drought. If there's no rain, we can't do anything. Some people who have money can take water from the canals and carry on farming. But we don't have that, or the machines, so we just have to wait. The government is also trying to both boost productions and boost sales. It's launched a cooperative project that lets farmers buy their grains more cheaply and also allows them to sell them collectively in China, where they can often fetch prices that are higher than right here at home. But some say other initiatives have brought negative consequences. In recent years, the government built a series of roads that linked much of the country, but also cut through much of its farms. Many farmers, now relying on annual loans, had to find work elsewhere. Since the road was constructed, our lives have become more difficult. Most of our farming land was grabbed up, and we didn't get any compensation. Now we have to do general jobs elsewhere. Myanmar's farmers are largely worried about their future. They now meet openly to discuss their frustrations. Even though the president says he is listening to the farmers, the local authorities are ignoring the voice and the problems we face. So I don't think the president and his civilian government are really hearing us. Officials know the key to Myanmar's future prosperity lies in the country's flourishing green pastures. When talking growth, they now often talk of inclusion. The problem they face is pulling newfound interest and investment in the country away from the cities and to the farms and farmers, where many argue it's most desperately needed. Rowie Ruttenberg, CCTV, Pew Township, Myanmar.